Hello everyone. I would like to introduce you to somebody. This is Echo is her name. She is a mini Australian Shepherd mix with Poodle and she is going to be in a year, year and a half, probably about year and a half, uh, takeover service dog work for my dog Finnegan. He's in the process of retiring. He's going on 12 now, so the vet kind of told me I think it's time for you to get a new one. And the thing is, is I'm, I'm happy to have a puppy um, and another partner to come with me uh, through daily activities and big events. She's um, very confident. She likes to learn. She is nine weeks old and she can sit. She knows sit. We're working on down. She knows watch me. She knows her name. Um, she's really good house training wise. And she's going to during the puppyhood, she's going to be a terror because she is independent and, um, but she's still affectionate. She's still bond. She's not independent like sometimes huskies can be beyond independent, um, aloof. She's not aloof. Um, she's a problem solver. And, uh, She wants to get down and play. But what I'm talking about, I was talking about, um, there was a little grieving process going on, um, which actually made it difficult for me to bond with her in the, pr past, in the first couple of days because I had very recently um, had to put to sleep my other dog, um, Seamus, and that was a hard one for me, and I'm still very sad about that, and also the service dog I have now, and I have had for a while, you know, we're like, this you know wherever I was he was inside outside and um, I I am afraid of him feeling left out while we're in the process of training her so I have to I keep him involved and perhaps he can teach her a few things um, but, you know, it's hard because every dog is different and every service dog is different. Just because I train her the same task doesn't mean she's going to be just like Finnegan. Just because, you know, there's still a, a different personality in there. They are different from what I can tell so far. <laughs> um, I, um, she was kind of expensive, but um, they were so nice. The, the black ones don't get picked as much because the people want the uh, 
what is called the blue merle fur pattern she has aussie fur as far as the texture goes soft and wavy but i know someone that had one and it started out soft and wavy and then their hair as they got older became curly like poodle she's got more of a poodle face and po poodle attitude um hold on i gotta adjust these i think my head's shrinking the rest of me is um so this is um well I, as i mentioned she was expensive and i don't have a lot of money um and I think I was talking about payment to her and, and I said well do you take credit cards because that's the only way I can afford it is to put it on credit card and pay it off and so they just they were <laughs> they said uh, anyway they like knocked all this money off for me um, probably because she's black and not blue merle but I said I'm not interested in what color their coat is. <laughs> I need a confident but calm, inde you know, independent dog. Why would I need an independent dog if I want to have a team? Because some of the tasks that um, they do for me is... Um, for example, the basement. Um, Finnegan is trained to, he goes down for, I'm terrified of the dark. In that basement, it's an old house and it's really, really creepy. And I would opt to not do laundry or I would opt, run up the stairs and hurt myself trying to carry laundry. And so, I train him to, he goes down first and checks up and goes to where the scary part is. So, uh, and then I come down and I know that he's taking care of all the boogeymen back there. And I can do my laundry with my back turned and he's back there just milling around, sniffing and everything. And, um, and then when I'm done and I go up, he's trained to go up behind me so the scary things can't chase me up the stairs. And that works so well. It was such a big difference. So you need an independent dog if you're doing things like that. Um, a lot of PTSD folks have a dog that will go into a room and clear it. Um, so that's kind of what he's doing. And um, so you need a dog that can be independent. Go do something by themselves. Assess the situation. Respond. Come back to you. You know, so you need some independence, but that sense of teamwork and bonding will keep them attached to you and your needs. So that's how it is for me. And she is so fussy. She's she went potty. She wants to go and play fetch now. So I'm going to say bye bye. Say bye bye. Oh. So anyway, she likes to be a pie. So we figure she's going to be a fence climber. She likes to be like up on your shoulder, like a cat. That's kind of weird. All right, so um, just, you know, a quick video of, yeah, sometimes good things do happen. So, 
my my only real serious worry was will a puppy keep me up all night and mess with my moods because uh, that's a big factor for me um, but so far it's not been too bad she's she's been a really good nighttime puppy so okay i'll talk to you guys later